you're gonna do with your cutout is draw three lower petals. Just do a smaller petal and then two big ones because these are gonna be two separate flowers. The next step is to get your teal paint and just kind of outline around the flowers. So now that you've got your top portion done, you're gonna to switch to your larger brush. So make sure that you guys are painting pretty thin because we are going to use a blow dryer to dry our painting. So before you get started on the flower part of your painting, you wanna go ahead and blow dry the bottom because we don't want wet paint mixing with wet paint. a paint kit from me the next step is going to be mixing some of your paint colors together to get even more paint colors so for example in the pack that you bought I provided white paint dark pink and light pink you're gonna take some of your light pink and white to make even lighter pink and you're gonna take some of your dark pink and light pink and provide a medium pink. So now you should have five colors. Medium pink, dark pink, light pink, lighter pink, and white. So the first thing you're gonna do is kind of outline where exactly you want your flowers. Now you're gonna do this with the darkest pink you have. Make sure you leave the leaves alone, which should be one over here two over here and one up above. Don't paint those. So I'm gonna make some flowers and it really doesn't matter how big they are, it doesn't matter how small they are, it doesn't matter if they look good at this stage, you're just worried about the outline. flowers that have five petals to them but it doesn't always work out that way like this one for instance has a bunch this one only has four you're gonna want to skip over the leaves like I said and some flowers will be overlapping others like this one above for example you can just fill that little gap in so you can see how this flower is more on the forefront, this one is more in the background. Just continue making your flowers, and you can make your flowers smaller than this, they don't have to be large. I probably wouldn't make them any bigger because you do want to have quite a few to make up a bouquet. For example, this petal, I'm sorry, this flower is only showing about three petals. One, two, three, but that's because it's hiding behind this other one or that is the illusion we're gonna create. Now that you have the outline of a few flowers, first rinse your brush. Make sure that you rinse your brush thoroughly of the dark pink because you really want to maintain the integrity of each color. You don't wanna get them too mixed up. The way that the colors are gonna pop and look 3D is by using very separate shades of color. So the next step is going to be using your medium pink with a clean brush and just filling in the middle of each flower. Now it's fine if it touches the edges and mixes a bit, but again, you don't want the dark and the medium pink blending as one. So if it's touching too much and then your brush becomes compromised, don't continue painting. Go ahead and wipe off that brush. Don't have to necessarily rinse it, but just wipe it off. 
Now you're gonna go to your next flower. And see how I'm just kind of haphazardly painting the inside? It doesn't have to even look like a flower at this point. It will by the end. So, wipe your brush off. I'm gonna touch this back up a little bit. You do wanna leave a good edge of that dark pink, but not too much. And sometimes as you go and as you're painting, things kind of evolve on their own. Right now, this is almost looking like it might split into two flowers. We'll see just how it goes. I've kind of just roughed up the edges a bit and blended it a little bit more into the dark pink edging. Now rinse your brush really well and the next step is to take our light pink. You're going to want to use a smaller brush for this. Start with your center. Always create your center first and after each time that you're touching this paint go ahead and wipe wipe all the paint off and each center is really just a simple twirl don't overthink it you can always go back and thicken them up now in my videos I usually tell all of you to paint thin but when you're painting flowers, you definitely don't need to do that. You just want to paint it on as thick as you need. Really focus on layering. So then you're just going to build off that. You're going to do little, you can call them swoopies or half circles, all the way around. And see how it's starting to become something just by this motion? Make sure that you are wiping your brush off often so that you don't get your paint colors mixed all together. You definitely want this light pink to stand out from your medium pink. You can do as many of these or as few of these as you like. I wouldn't do too many right now because we are going to add other colors. So after you finished up with your light pink, let's go back to the dark pink for a minute. Make sure you rinse your brush really well. Use the dark pink for some accents. And it looks really good if you kind of put it right up against the light pink. But again, you don't want your colors mixing, so wipe your brush off. See how it really gives it some dimension when you touch on that light pink? Almost like a shadow. You could put some in the middle if you like. It just makes it more 3D. And after almost every paint stroke, or every few, I'm wiping my brush. Really, you want to start out with a lot of thick paint on there so you can get a few swipes in before you need to wipe it off. So now you're going to use your white brush and you're going to do the same technique. So when you use white, it's really going to start blending with that pink. We don't want that to happen. You can wipe off and start over if you need to. You just want to maintain each color really individually so it looks like petals. You can go to the outside edges all the way if you like, fill in the blanks. Really use this white to make the flowers look like they're connecting. So I think I'm pretty happy 
with my finished product. So as you can see, I went ahead and wrote welcome on here with a thin paintbrush. Um, I'm sorry I couldn't show it to you, the camera actually cut off. But if you're not confident with this part, just make sure you practice um, your lettering skills on a piece of computer paper. Um, practice as much as you need and take your time when you do it and you'll be fine. So now we're going to move on to doing our leaves. So just take a small brush and just paint the little leaves. There you go, you're done. Thanks so much for painting with me today, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my page. Also, check me out on Facebook at The Painted Farmer.